Hey guys, and welcome to The Broken Sword. We've got Marcus Armstrong here, who you may recognize from a few previous videos, including the most recent one, where Marcus went along to the Amazon Prime event for the Rings of Power. Hey man. Hey, how's nice it going? Yeah, all right. <laughs> so, <laughs> obviously when you went to the event, mm. you got shown some exclusive footage. Yep. Um, and you, from the, straight from the event, yep. you went to your hotel room, you recorded your initial thoughts, yep. sent them over to us, Yep. We threw them up on the channel because we obviously wanted to get something out to you guys straight away. Now, we're in the studio. Mm -hmm. We've kind of got a chance to, to debrief. Yeah, take a breath. Yeah, take I, a breath. I sadly wasn't able to go, neither mm -hmm. was James, who was still away. Hi, James. Hi, James. <laughs> and uh, I've, I'm obviously very sad about this, but yeah. I, I've now got the opportunity to ask you some questions. Live vicariously. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. <laughs> However, there are a few things that I do want to address first. And most importantly, if you have seen the previous video, I think the most important thing to clear up is no, we have not, were not, and will not be paid by Amazon for this content. No. There, no money is exchanged hands. We have not even agreed to, to say anything positive. The only thing we have agreed to is to not spoil the content. That's it. No spoilers. Absolutely. It is, we were, we were, we were wined and dined by Amazon. I won't lie about that. They brought us yeah. over. They, they, you know, fed us some nice food. They gave us some nice drinks. Absolutely. But there was no, at no point did any of us say, ah, well, we're going to be only positive about this, you know? And it's interesting having had the, having had the opportunity to, to reflect on, on that experience and, uh, and to, and to think about, well, how, you know, was I influenced and things like that? No. Absolutely not. I can say it categorically, absolutely not. There were, I, I wasn't influenced by the experience around it. I'm a professional. I'm a writer. I'm a filmmaker. I, I do this stuff. Um, and I can tell you that the I stand by, stand by what I said, for sure. Good. I think Amazon's intent here is just to, to get, obviously, Middle Earth, I don't know, representatives, mm. um, people with an audience based in the Middle Earth fandom, to give their honest thoughts. Mm. On, on their content. For sure. Um, I haven't seen this footage, you have, mm -hmm. so now is the opportunity for me to ask the questions I wanna know to try and get the answers from a fan's point of view. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Now, the other thing I wanna point out is yes, we have covered topics related to the Rings of Power in the past, and we've been for the most part pretty optimistic. Now, that's essentially our job as a Middle Earth Tolkien channel. A lot of you are saying we're sellouts by talking about it, it's crazy, it's related to the content that we all love, mm. so of course we're going to cover it. Whether or not we think it's going to be good is one thing, and if it's not good, we will 100% be honest about For sure. it. sure, yeah. Let's make that clear from the start, okay? It's my channel, I'll say what I want. I like it, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> so off the bat, yep. like we said, your initial reaction, your initial thoughts were literally hot off the press. Mm. You went straight from the event. It was about half an hour, yeah. It yeah. was about half an hour after we, we came away from the uh, we came away from, we watched the footage, um, which was 20 minutes. It was uh, some scenes and uh, and some uh, bit of montage. That mm -hmm. was the long short of it. Uh, we then, we got to have a Q and A with the showrunners uh, and we got to have some conversations with them. That was that was what it was. We came from that and I came straight up to the hotel room, set up my little webcam uh, and got me a little mannequin in the background, which was uh, which was nice. I like the mannequin. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and, then, and then, yeah, just talk to you guys about what I thought. So I think, one of the phrases that you mentioned in your initial thoughts was you were cautiously optimistic. Mm. Is that still the same way you feel? And did you feel that way before you saw the footage? Yes and no. Um, I, I do still feel cautiously optimistic. I think I was... So to, to, to make... To, I, I said this a couple of times in, in the video itself, which uh, and another thing to point out there is that it, was in, it wasn't scripted. I think there were a couple of people thought that it might have been scripted, that I'd written stuff down first. I had a few notes on a screen um, and actually watch back, watch it back. Like I am bumbling all over the place. Like I watched it today and I thought, oh God, do, it, do that again. But <laughs> the, um, but the, but the, the point being is that I, um, before I saw the footage, I was on the fence about it. I, and I think, I think I said in the trailer, in, in the, uh, the, the video, I don't think the trailer did them any justice. Mm. Um, my wife is not a Lord of the Rings fan, but I showed her that the other day and she went, mm. Mm. You know, it's not it's not a brilliant trailer, um, and but because of my job and the things I do for a living, I would ne I wouldn't judge it on that. I wouldn't judge it on the on the trailer alone. And I'm also not really making any final. I'm not. Well, I'm absolutely not categorically making no final decisions uh, based on the footage we saw. Mm. 
Um, what I can tell you is that go, coming out of that experience and watching the footage and having conversations with the showrunners, um, I am more optimistic than I was, but I'm still cautious about it because there's still because we haven't seen the series yet. We don't know. That's they true. they might have found they might have found the the best bits. Uh, to show us and and it, and we just went yeah oh man this is this is great this is great and the, and you know the rest of it the rest of it might just be a, a complete mess I don't think it will be for the record um, but I but it could be and so I reserve the I'll reserve my kind of uh, uh, my my comments until I've actually seen the show properly but yeah I am still cautiously optimistic and and I think that the um, the route that they've taken the visuals the visuals the uh, the the kind of the audible elements um, all of these things. I said a lot in that video, and again, evidence it wasn't scripted. I said a lot in that video that it felt like Middle Earth, and the whole and the reason that means so much to me is that I grew up on mm. the on Middle Earth. I grew up on books. I grew up on uh, the films. I grew up on this stuff, and it feels to when I say it feels like Middle Earth, I mean that in the the best way possible because it's because of the visuals and the audio that kind of surrounded it. So yes, there's a very garbled way of saying. Yes, Jake. I'm still cautiously optimistic. <laughs> okay, okay, that's good. I think that's how everyone should be as well, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Until like once you've seen the pilot or the series or whatever, mm. unleash all your, your wrath and, and hatred towards yeah towards it if it's not for your liking. But I think mm. withhold judgment until you've seen something in full. Be be cautiously pessimistic if you have to. Mm. Like that's fine. Be cautiously pessimistic, but cautiously. And I th I think that's the trick with this is to. To give it a chance, and, and I think not just watch half an episode, but it mm. takes time to tell a story. I'll Absolutely. be very, very honest right now. When I first read the Lord of the Rings books, mm -hmm. two chapters in, I was like, I don't think this is for yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. But I stuck it to the end, and it's now, without a doubt, obviously yeah. my favorite book of, of all time, which I've read I don't even know how many times. Yeah, yeah. So I think it's important to give things a chance. If it sucks, I will be the first to say so. Trust me. For Next sure. question. Yes. So. I don't know where you saw this. Was it in like an auditorium or like a cinema or yeah, that kind of thing? Okay. Yeah, yeah. What was the general vibe in that room like when the footage was on? Was there like gasps and applauses or tears or booze? There, there, like, yeah, there was a little bit of that. Yeah. It was, it was, it was quite, a, it was quite a visceral experience. It was, it was sort of. Um, there were there were a few moments that where people did gasp. Um, mm. There were some tears afterwards, and you can check out. Um, we, I wasn't the only person in the room. There were a lot of Tolkien. Uh, content creators out there and you can have a look at their stuff um, there are a few people that were um, yeah that were moved to tears by it and and it was it was an overwhelmingly positive uh, kind of outcome from the initial footage um, but there were there were some kind of uh, guarded questions afterwards mm. and there was a and I think after the initial kind of oh wow um and the, and the excitement of what we saw, which what was that? There was a moment where I think we we took stock mm. and kind of went, okay, all right, hang on a minute, right? Let's yeah. let's think let's think about this from a let's think about this from a book's point of view. Let's think about this from a visual point of view. Let's think about it from a, a Tolkien law point of view. Let's mm. think about let's think about these things and does this does this pan out? Does this work? And there are things and I can't be specific about those things, but there are things that um, that people are concerned about and that yeah. you know this is this isn't quite like hasn't nailed it mm. it's not like we're sat there going yeah it's gonna be the best thing ever it's just like you know but in in the room uh in the room there was a there was a uh, cautious optimism you know is the is yeah. the right way yeah. of putting it i think i think like from my point of view mm. i'm staying optimistic like we keep saying like, saying this again saying script yeah, it's yeah, not, yeah it's not there, yeah. there are things that i'm skeptical about things that I'm unhappy with some decisions that have been made that if I was creating it I wouldn't make it what are those things tell me what they are because then just maybe little I things can... like like one thing that seems a really strange decision to me and it's something that a lot of commenters have said as well mm. is short hair on the elves sure I don't understand why that decision was made is it yeah. to be trendy like I, obviously the term that gets thrown around which I hate is woke but yeah. that's a decision for me I all the elves would have had long hair sure and it seems a simple thing yeah you know yeah, I can but, see and, that, yeah. And something so obvious like that to me has me worried about what bigger decisions they'll make. Mm -hmm. I know the rumours are, uh, which I think have been confirmed, that they have messed around a little bit with the timeline, more compressing it. Things don't happen so much over thousands of years, more over hundreds of years, uh, as far as I'm aware. Mm. Um, I understand those changes from a storytelling point of view. Sometimes it's necessary. Adaptation, yeah. It, it sure. is adaptation. It's not a documentary mm -hmm. on the second age, right? So yeah. things can and sometimes have to be changed. And a lot of people don't seem to understand that, but sure. that is the case. Um, 
but it does have me worried. You know, these small yeah. or, or bigger decisions that they've made that I would not have made mm -hmm. myself. Do, do, do you? From, I know you can't tell us exactly what you yeah, saw, yeah. but were there moments where yourself or other content creators mm. in the room were kind of questioning, "Oh, that shouldn't have been done." Yeah, Why have you done? yeah, there was short it. hair. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Short hair on the elves is a big one. Like that mm. was a. It's a. It seems a. It seems like an interesting choice. I don't have. We didn't. That is not an answer that was given. Mm. It wasn't a question that was actually asked in the room. I don't think. Uh, they there were conversations that happened afterwards. We had kind of bigger, uh, a larger scope of yeah, stuff. Yeah. That is the 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 little detail. It's a little detail, but it's it's an important little detail. It's not just the fact. But that it's, it is a small detail because it's just it's just a visual detail at the end mm. of the day. But the thing that concerns medium, me, isn't it? Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. The, the thing that concerns me though is if they are willing to make changes like that, what yeah. else? On a grander scale, yeah. are they willing to do? We see this. This is the thing, and this this was a concern in the room. Was the uh, which I think is a concern around a lot of places. Mm. Is that you know what what are we what are we getting ourselves into here? Clearly, so I think I think the the narrative here that uh, that's happened around this, and and certainly around things like short hair. On the, I'm going to use that as an example yeah, yeah. for this. Short hair on the elves uh, from that one minute trailer that we've had, and the few like photos that have come mm -hmm. out and things like that. The narrative is that well, they've made that decision. They clearly don't understand it. They clearly don't understand what's happened. They clearly don't understand the the law of Tolkien. They don't understand the you know all of this that and the other. One thing I can say is that there were moments where you know the the showrunners. Of this thing um, were like dropping uh, letter numbers. They mm. were dropping like appendices. They were drop. They were just dropping stuff out of nowhere. So they're clearly knowledgeable. Oh my god, are they knowledgeable? Yeah. It's mental. Like they, um, they, they just and it, and that, and that's something you know that 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 doesn't necessarily translate into a great TV show. I take it mm. absolutely. But what what it does do is that's more than the visuals. That's the thing, and I think that's the truth for all of us in the room. To be honest. Um, that the enthusiasm and the knowledge base that those showrunners have is the thing that's making me feel more optimistic about mm -hmm. it. If it was just the footage, um, then I would have been like, yeah, okay, cool. It's it hasn't really changed anything. Those conversations are the things that I think um, shifted me along there. And so, short hair on the elves, that kind of stuff. Um, I I don't know what the thought process is behind mm -hmm. that. Perhaps we will find out what that thought process is. Perhaps there is a story beat in there um, that does that. There might well, there may be a, a proper, proper, fully fledged story beat reason uh, in there for that decision. It may also just be a visual choice that they've made yeah. to differentiate themselves from stuff that's come before. It may work. It may not. Um, if I, I, you know, I do Star Trek. Um, I'm a big Star Trek fan. Same um, you look at the Star Trek Discovery with the Klingons, mm -hmm. like. Uh, the redesign of the Klingons was like, why have they cut their hair mm. off? Why have they done that? And it didn't really... I think there was a bit of backlash at the time. I, I wasn't following it. I was just watching it as a, as a fan. And I, you know, I wasn't following the kind of the internet um, opinions on it. But I remember looking at that going, ooh, that's weird. Mm. Like, and it not, feeling, it not feeling quite right. But then as it went along... The yeah. Klingons began to kind of get back into it, and I understood it, and I got that they were they were they were reinterpreting, they were doing something a little bit different. Yeah. Um, and I think in the long run, that little detail of the Klingons didn't hurt Star Trek Discovery overall. No. I think it's a I think it's a good example of a TV show where they've made small small changes that have um, not really impacted on the grand yeah. scheme of things. Yeah, and that that could just be the case with this, right? It yeah. could just be okay. The short hair decision, and again, we're sticking with this. Yeah, example yeah, yeah. It's a good it's, example. Yeah. yeah, it could just be something that's a visual decision. They may maybe preferred how the actors and actresses mm. and whatnot looked with the short hair. Fine, if that's the case, and it's just lots of little changes like this that they have selected because they feel to them that that makes the most sense in mm. their story, in their universe, in their world. That's fine. It's just my fear is. If they're willing to do that, what else are they willing yeah, that, to compromise on? Yeah, yeah. no, I totally, totally, and that, and that's the thing is that like, I don't have those answers for you. No. You know, and, and, and none I, of us do. We're not going to get those answers until we which, watch the show. Exactly. Yeah. Which is the exact reason why I'm refraining from being too upset or annoyed by anything mm. or, or any of these changes well, yeah. until I've seen it. We don't know. Because ultimately, ultimately, what's the point? No. You know, we, you know, the, it, it's a, it's a, it's it, it's kind of a waste of energy at that point yeah. because it, we we don't know. We don't know. We have no idea. And the people out there that are wasting energy on hating on <laughs> us and telling us that they are leaving and unsubscribing because we have uh, 
said we're cautiously optimistic. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. I'm sure it's far more stressful for you guys to be worried about absolutely the stuff there than uh, it is for us to withhold judgment. Anyway, I have more questions. Oh, if, if you don't oh, oh my god, yes, please ask them. Yes. So, you've seen 20 minutes of footage, mm-hmm. and we've seen 60 seconds or so of, of footage, and we've had lots of poster drops, mainly yep. of hands and swords. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I, I definitely don't want to compare this to anything that's come before, sure. but we've had lots of other adaptions visually of Tolkien's works, whether that be through um, movies, cartoons, video games. There's been lots of different visual styles in video just games. the artwork going back. You just know, general so artwork long, from yeah. Ted Naismith and Alan yeah. Lee, John Howe, like these legendary artists yeah, that yeah. have um, given us a visual representation of what we've read from mm. Tolkien's work. How do you feel this show... Like, does it feel familiar to to all these different adaptions we've had in the past, or does it feel like a brand new representation and a brand new imagining of Middle Earth? There are references to the past for sure, visually. There are there are things that there are there are certainly things in there that I recognise. Mm-hmm. There are things that I recognise from um, yeah from the past. It feels it feels the same but different, and and I think that is a I think that's a actually a real comment on the strength of Tolkien's writing is that because this is you know this comes from the books of course it is and and you know th- and the the extended writings of Tolkien is where the second age mm-hmm. and all this stuff comes from as we all know um and I think it's a real it's a strength of the it's a strength of his his work that they this is a new interpretation this is a new production team and a new thing mm-hmm. with a new kind of overarching goal and a new story it's new but it feels familiar, and there's an intention behind that, I think. And again, I'm not, I'm not, you know, quoting anything. I'm not. These are my opinions and my mm-hmm. feelings. Um, it's important to say that because I don't want to put stuff in people's mouth, like, um, and you know, yeah, I don't want to do that. Um, but there, there's an there's an intention behind the the the, the similarities between behind. Um, oh, I'm going to start that whole thing again because that was just an absolute. <laughs> yeah. There is an intention behind the visual similarities, I think, um, between what we have now and what we are, what we've had before. It feels the same, but it feels a little bit different, um, and that's important. This series is set three thousand years before anything we've seen, mm-hmm. anything we've seen visually, uh, with the exception of certain pieces of artwork and, and things like that. Um, Go back in time 3,000 years to where you are right now and see what looks familiar to you, mm. you know? Yeah. So there is a version of it, and honestly, there is a version of it from a from a, a screenwriting point of view where I'm kind of like, oh, something a bit more radical, to be mm. honest. Like, there is a, so so the, the similarities in a sense, that, but this is the point, they can't win. Because yeah. like, the similarities that they, that they have there I think are great and it's nice because it feels like for me it's coming back to my childhood and I'm like yeah. oh man I'm back in middle earth it's so mm. exciting but from the professional angle I kind of am like oh man you could have could have gone a little bit further maybe, well, the, 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 I think if anything yes it's a new team it should be different mm. but even if let's say none of the creators and, and, and production design team or whatever that have worked on this show mm. let's say none of them had ever seen any artwork yep. any movies any games anything yep. like that that's come before yep. you just gave them Tolkien's books yep. Tolkien is fa- very very well known and famous for almost over describing yeah. things Here's and, the, oh, look at the tree you know this yeah. tree and that tree yeah, yeah. absolutely so, yeah. Uh, to a point, there are always going to be similarities. Of course, yeah. so and that's what I mean by that. It's a it's a testament to Tolkien's yeah. writing. Yeah. Is that you can you and and you described it. Fa- thank you for that. You described it far more eloquently than I did. <laughs> but you you give you give a brand new team Tolkien's book. They're going to come up with something similar because yeah. it's based on that same thing. It's, yeah, exactly. it's part of that same world. So yeah, it, it, in in terms of visual style, um, there's a lot. There are a lot of things there that are are similar. And um, and there's there's certain bit oh, I wish I could tell you there's certain bits there that are uh, that are, are actually really just really great and you know the the feeling the feeling you get the feels mm, man the feels chills chills up the spine of Middle Earth oh. and, to, and to be honest when this show was announced that was the main thing for me mm. I, I want to get the feels yeah yeah this yeah. is Lord of the Rings Middle Earth Tolkien's works are my number one passion in terms of fiction yeah and 
something like this comes about, the most expensive TV show in history, yeah, yeah, yeah. you want it to give you the feels. Absolutely. When, when you're yeah. the sort of fan that I am. Mm. And to be told by hundreds of people that I'm clearly not a fan is, is a bit insulting. Um, yeah. But like I've said multiple times throughout this video, if this really does degrade and, and, and take away from Tolkien's works, I am, I am not going to be happy. Mm. And we will be putting out lots of videos ripping into it. Don't don't get me wrong. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. You know, like we, we plan so all on... people that unsubscribe could come back and join <laughs> in. Maybe. But I'm hoping and, and again, cautiously optimistic. Mm. I'm hoping that doesn't happen. It's got to be. I mean, that's the point, though, isn't it? Why? Why would you want it to be bad? I don't. I want it to be great. It's, exactly. Like that's that's the thing is that, you know, hopefully it'll be good yeah. like and and you know and hopefully it'll be great and and what a wonderful thing if it is if it's yeah. if it's if it's great then what a wonderful thing to see that world brought back to life again yeah. and and to see and you know maybe in 20 years time there's there's new there's new people coming to this for the first time and they're sitting there and they're watching mm. you know whatever they're watching or they're reading Tolkien and they go you know what I came to this through the rings of power yeah what a cool thing That's you know great. like it's yeah. and uh, potentially if it's great yeah and like I said People have pointed out things they're unhappy with. There's things I'm unhappy with, mm. but I'm I'm so I want this to be good so much that why why judge it from a few visual decisions? Yeah, for sure, for sure. I, it's I, the the need the the need and the desire to judge something that you love is is palpable and it's mm. and it's there and it's and it's sometimes difficult not to I think. Yeah. Um. But the I'm guilty of it. You know, like um. I've done it with. I've done it with, there's so many, <coughs> excuse me, bless you, carry on. There are so many great nerdy properties out there that I am, that I'm so invested mm. in. And sometimes I think you have to take a step out of it and kind of go, oh man, like, okay, right. You let's take a breath. Like it just because I'm a, I'm a Doctor Who fan. I know you're not. I'm not, no. But I'm a Doctor Who fan. And I think maybe for, for we Whovians out there, change is built into the DNA of that show. You can't go, you that like every every like four years, that our sh our favorite show gets cancelled and it gets rebooted. Mm, yeah. Like someone someone I think actually on on this uh, on this event someone said that to me and I'd never considered it that way before. It was such an interesting way of looking at it. Yeah. So like for maybe that's why I'm less concerned because I'm from a heritage mm. of um, rebooting stuff and like yeah. and do overs and yeah. regenerating things, you know. And maybe that's it. Maybe that's why I'm less worried. Maybe that's why I was less worried to begin with. Um, but like, just if this isn't if this isn't something you guys like, if you don't like it, it doesn't take away from the wonderful works of Tolkien, and it also doesn't because they're timeless, right? Mm. That's the whole that's the whole point. That's why people keep coming back to the well. Yeah. That's why people keep coming back to Tolkien because it's timeless work. It's world building on a on a scale hitherto unmatched yeah and yes i said hitherto <laughs> and uh, and you know uh, and but it is it, it's it's not that's why we got him to write the script for our <laughs> project hitherto yeah um, it's but it, it is you know it's 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 timeless it's timeless work it's timeless writing and it will be interpreted and there may be versions of it you don't like i for my part am not that big of a fan of the two towers interpretation the the Peter Jackson film. Really? Yeah, I don't, I'm not. I'm not. I'm a bit cool on it. Like oh. it's. Uh, it's not. It's not my least favorite thing ever. But it, I just. You know. I just don't really. I don't think. It, I don't think it really. There's a lot of stuff that doesn't translate from book to screen. I and agree. Things like that. You know. I. I, I always, I've always looked at the films. This is completely off topic now. But yeah. I've always looked at the films as something completely separate. I don't look Absolutely, at it. Yeah. I don't look at it so much as adapting Tolkien. Mm -hmm. I look at that and go, wow, what an accomplishment in filmmaking. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah. Know what I mean, absolutely. And from a film because. Uh, through and through, I'm a filmmaker at yeah, the end yeah, of the day, yeah, and yeah. what an accomplishment all three of those movies are. So yeah, yeah. oh, it shouldn't have happened. Like it shouldn't have worked. Mm -hmm. it's, it's mental. Anyway, like that we yeah. we digress. The point yeah. that, and actually, if you want to see that conversation, then we literally did that over at the script department. That's true. You can come find us there. Shameless plug. Um, shameless plug. <laughs> um, <laughs> but like the, but yeah, I'm 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 not I'm I'm cool on that. But it doesn't diminish the Fellowship of the Ring is my favorite film of all time. Mm. It is. It's a work of almost perfect cinema I agree um, and for me that but The Two Towers doesn't diminish that nor does it diminish The Return of the King mm -hmm. nor does it you know cast any dispersions on The Hobbit The Hobbit as a as a trilogy does not dampen my love for The Lord of the Rings films the visual works uh, and adaptations cartoon or otherwise uh, artwork whatever it might be do not diminish my love of 
the books mm -hmm. and the original material. Like no, they sit in their own little boxes in my head, and and I like, and I go to them for different reasons. Yeah, and spot on. the same thing. This the same with this this interpretation. The Rings of Power. If you don't like it, then you don't have to watch it. Put it in the box in your head, labeled crap. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and you can keep Tolkien's books in the special place. It's not in my head, it's in my heart. It's in your heart. Oh, that's so <laughs> touching. And, uh, whoa. Oh, here we go. But you know what I mean, right? No, and exactly what you're saying. Yeah. No matter what happens with these, we've still got, whether you're a fan of the, the, the movies or whether you're a fan of the books or both, we've still got those. This does not change, remove, or tarnish in any way mm. their uh, legend, in, yeah. I guess. Legacy. Legacy, that's and, what I was looking for. And, you know, and, <laughs> and impact and beauty and, yeah. you know, wondrous um just moments in mm. in fiction it, it's that a tremendous achievement and like yeah I, I i hope that what i can tell you about this event is that it was a a gathering of fans and of people that love the work of the professor so realistically the most judgy people yeah oh for sure oh my god yes absolutely <laughs> hey guys um but yeah but yeah absolutely like it's it's yeah, it is. And and like we said at the beginning, none of us were paid for our time. None of us were, um, you know, told. No one signed anything to say uh, we cannot be negative about this. No one did. And so if it was... No one's going to believe you. But no, yeah. I know, I know. But I just, I feel the need to say it anyway. Yeah, but like, no. because, it, because it's true. And it's, yeah. and, and you know, like you, you, you said a minute ago, like the, the idea of people um, say, accusing you of not being a fan. To me, it's the same thing. People, people um, saying, "Oh, you've been paid for your opinions." That's casting dispersions on me as a professional, yeah. like, and and my integrity. Yeah. It'd be nice to have been paid for it'd, our it'd opinions. Have yeah. been lovely, yeah, <laughs> but we weren't. And and you know, and I, my, I cannot be bought. I will not be bought. And I. Do, will you, never... do you know why we agreed to this event? Because we are fans. Yeah. Because <laughs> we love it. It's <laughs> yeah. cool. This it's is great. related to something that we love. So mm. yes, of course, we're going to want to go. Um, yeah. And, that, and that's what it was, and you know, it was it was a gathering of fans, um, and very fortunate people to get to go to something like that. None of us, it wasn't lost on anyone there, how lucky we were to get to go and to get to go and, and see this and, and to experience it. It was uh, it was it was it was wonderful, and you know, but it, but we are fans first and foremost, fans first and foremost. And if it had been crap. Then these videos would have gone very, very differently. Oh yeah, and, for sure. And they, and no one would have held back. No, absolutely not. And it's just lucky. Well, it's not lucky. It's by design because, like, Amazon made it. But it appears they made a good bit of footage, and we saw that good bit of footage, and we liked it. And they then also talked a good game. Um, that's what happened. That's mm -hmm. that's what occurred. And um, if if it had gone differently, then we we'd be telling you. Yeah. Be telling you. Like we said earlier, they might have shown the best bits that they have yes. available for sure. There is no doubt in that. But at the end of the day, if the overall feedback was positive, mm -hmm. then happy days. Um, that's how trailers work in general. They show you the good, the good stuff. Mm -hmm. How many times have we seen good trailers for movies, gone to the cinema and been like, oh, wow, what was that? It happens. Oh, and it may happen yeah. with this show. Downsizing. Downsizing. The only Downsizing. other thing... That's one of them. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the only other thing I want to... Um, Talk quickly about yeah, is obviously yeah. we've we've mentioned how there were lots of other content creators there, mm. uh, whether they be website hosts or YouTubers or sure, TikTokers sure. or what, yeah, whatever yeah, the kids yeah. are calling them all these days. <laughs> <laughs> obviously, you got to spend the weekend with with all these people, all, all of our I, I would call them colleagues. You know? Absolutely, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm again very disappointed. All these people that we've spoken to over the years and made friends with through this talking community. Um, we didn't get to hang out with and meet people. Uh, Nerd of the Rings, for example, come all the way from, from mm. the US. Uh, it's a shame with these opportunities we all could have hung out that, that we didn't get to do it, but I'm glad that you were available to do so. Sure. I'm not asking you to give away any details of, of any conversations or anything like that, but obviously you would have hung out outside of the event, away from the showrunners perhaps. Yeah. Not naming anyone specific now. Um, was there any general negativity at all? Or was everyone, even in private, cautiously optimistic uh yeah there was a little bit of there was uh, some negativity yeah. in there yeah I, and i think but i think cautious negativity Caut yeah, as well yeah. you know that that's the whole thing that was the yeah it's you know <laughs> it's uh cautious pessimism there was, there was a little bit of that we you know there were some 
um, there were some conversations. There were there are concerns. There are there are absolutely concerns, and I think they. Um, you know, I, I'm pretty sure I haven't seen everything that everyone's put out, um, but I know that I and, and read everything that everyone's put out. But I know that you know, for a lot of people, have have kind of made those concerns known in the same way that I have done. Kind of, I think, um, perhaps not as eloquently as someone like uh, Corey, the Tolkien professor. But you know, it's still uh, you know these these are these are things. And yeah, there was a little bit of negativity, and there was a bit of. Uh, and, uh, and and conversations around that, and people disagreed, and people, um, you know, weren't all, all on the same page about all things. Mm. Um, but the but but, and it's a big 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 but on that point. Everybody came to the end of it, and in everybody was up mm. by the end of it, and everyone was <laughs> cautiously optimistic. <laughs> by the uh, uh, CEO. Uh, Count in the corner. Yeah, yeah, there, should, there could be a drinking game, shouldn't there? But um, let's go to the Green Dragon and have a cautiously optimistic drinking game. Um, but the, you know, the yeah, the, it was. So yeah, they're, because we're individuals and we're but and we're fans and we're going to disagree on stuff and that's and that's good. Um, but you know, it's it done in a nice way, which is a a good thing to do. Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. No, I agree. Yeah. Well. I think that's uh, we've rounded everything off that we can talk about. I think I think we've talked about the the, the general feedback, the sure. event itself, and, and we don't want to stray too close to uh, you know. I, I'm dying to ask details, <laughs> but we, we 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 that is something we have agreed not to do. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Um, but yeah, guys, whether this eases your um, fears or whether it flows. Throws some flames, some, or yeah, yeah. Like that's yeah, yeah. I, I know, know yeah, you know, you know. What I'm trying to say. It's this late. Well, it's very. It's, it's like oh, eight thirty p.m. Yeah. yeah, I've been here all day, so yeah, I'm getting. <laughs> um, Poor you. Dude. Yeah. You okay? With that? I, yeah, no, yeah, I'm getting by. No, I'm no, getting no, by. Yeah. YouTube comments drag me down. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, mate, I'm glad that um, yeah. you were available to go. I'm glad that you had a good time. Yeah, thank you for thank you for sending me. It was it was it was a great experience, and and I'm pleased to be able to. You may not be pleased, but I'm pleased to be able to share it with uh, with with uh, with people. Well, that, every other time you've been on the channel, Marcus, it's been very well received. People have uh, always asked to see you again. Sure. Um, it's just, you know, that's when it's not related to the Amazon show. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I'm glad you enjoyed it. So Thanks, man. Hopefully the next event, if there is another one, whether it's the, the, the premiere or whatnot, hopefully all three of us will That'll be fun, get to suit it? up. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. Nice. That would be nice. A little bow tie. Yes. Dicky bow. Yes, let's do that. Sounds great. Um, okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let's keep the comments, if you've watched it this far, let's keep the comments civil, sensible. Voice your opinion by all means, but let's not hate on each other or us for voicing our opinions and sharing our thoughts. Let's keep it a nice, civil community. Absolutely. We were having this conversation before we went on camera. Um, uh, James and myself through YouTube came through a very toxic fan base which is Star Wars notoriously toxic everyone knows that when we started a Tolkien channel it was like hmm. <laughs> it was lovely and then these last couple of years it's way worse than Star Wars so let's just chill I, I miss the, the nice calm community we once had let's go back to that also uh, thanks to the guy who said I had a nice necklace Someone did say that. that someone that. did say that. Yeah, yeah that was that was yeah. really cool. That was your only point as well. And uh, whoever you are, I appreciate that. Uh, I, 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 it made me smile. So thank you, friend. If you want to see more of Marcus, <laughs> you can go to the script department, right? Yep, 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 yep. yep. Where um, Marcus and a few colleagues. Yeah, all screenwriters. Yeah, I mean, a few few other screenwriters. We uh, get together and chat film and stuff. Um, and we did a whole bunch of stuff on uh, Lord of the Rings. So you can come and check that out. Or uh, we were on it. They were on it. They were great on it. You were great on it. It was so cool. It's just me. Um, I'm just great. <laughs> I don't say that. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> but yeah, come check it out. It's cool. Cool. Thanks, guys. Have a good night or day or whatever time you're watching this. Good weekend, good week, good year. And I'll see you next time on The Broken Sword.